the last three games in the first six minutes, they've been outscored by 25 points, almost eight or over eight a game. Tonight, already 11. The worst possible start for Detroit, one of nine from the floor. And the Pistons, of course, facing elimination. Rasheed Wallace is screened for Rip Hamilton. They want him to come out the left side of the floor. That's exactly where he came out. Right now, Detroit is trying to go to the offensive boards. It's now 7-0 fast break points as they just added another layup. Nice move inside. And Hamilton with the layup. Pistons have turned it over twice. Both were in the first minutes of the game. They've settled down now with a great assist from Ben Wallace inside to Richard Hamilton. The minute Kittles comes out like that, you got to let him catch the ball and make him shoot the ball under pressure. Pistons are 7 of 16 on the fly. Hamilton and... He leads the Pistons with eight. Don't allow non-shooters to get easy layups and scores. It just expands their game. Mike James has come in. And a drive inside by Hamilton is in. Uh, rips off to a great start here. Sort of a chess match up here. You see the big lineup for Detroit to match the big lineup of New Jersey. And see who can get the advantage. Scalabrini picks up his first foul. Pistons are two of two shooting threes tonight. Hamilton for two and puts it in just as you call. Well, Kevin, as the young player, I've always told the most dangerous man in basketball is the man away from the basketball. Rip Hamilton does a nice job. A little bump screen, curls, goes to the basket. No communication with New Jersey. Gets a layup. This time he's going to come off. He's going to curl, getting the shooting pocket. Kenyon Martin slow to step up. He buries that little, uh, little jumper this time. He curls, catch and shoot, knocks in the jumper. Six of nine for Richard Hamilton. He has 12 points. He was the one guy who got them off to a little bit of a decent start with his shooting. A lot of people want to know why Larry Brown did not go with a bigger lineup in the uh, overtimes and all. He said, I was playing uphill. They were on a small lineup out there, and I needed speed. Hamilton sails in. He's gone 7 of 10, and the Pistons have been hot and cold. They've hit their last five. Okur and Ben Wallace. There is a difference of about five and a half seconds. Game clock to shot clock. No fouls to give either way. That's a lot of trust. Let Rip Hamilton go against Jason Kidd. Two. And Hamilton hits it. He's got a game high 16 points. Back in as well for the Detroit Pistons. The Nets are shooting only 33% in this quarter. But they've cut the halftime lead from 14 down to two. Rip Hamilton with a much needed basket. And Hamilton leads all scores with 19 points in the game. New Jersey has had to go inside because their outside game has been horrible. Two of 14 shooting threes, as we mentioned. The Pistons, 5 of 11 with the three-point shooting night. Phillips with a couple and Lindsey Hunter with a couple. Here comes Hamilton with a nice fake. And Harris coming for two and a foul. See, that rest helped Richard Hamilton. He worked so hard in the third period. He was 8 of 13 at halftime. Was only 1 of 8 in the third quarter because they geared their defense to stop him. He feels he can score against Lucius Harris. A little up and under move. The and one opportunity here for Richard Hamilton. If he scores this, he pushes that lead back to nine for Detroit. So it's hard to push that lead up once again. When you had him, what'd you like best about Hamilton's game? Speed and his ability to move without the ball, and he's a scorer. It was not one in close games. It's a graphic to show. Jefferson down the lane. Rebound. Jefferson going up, knocked the way. Collins comes up with it, and Jefferson trying to reload. Only two of 14, three-point shooting more New Jersey. And Jefferson takes the long one and drops down the lane. How about the persistence of Richard Jefferson? Got two shots blocked, missed one, and still went back for more. That is the first New Jersey field goal in almost four minutes. Half minute to play in regulation with the Pistons on top by two. No fouls to give either way. Hamilton. With Kidd bumping on it. Richard Hamilton with a big time shot. Now what's the switch on this screen roll? Jason Kidd goes on the screen, finds Rasheed Wallace inside. The drive by Jefferson to make it two once again. And then fake Jason Kidd bumps him to follow through by Richard. You got to be able to win on the road. You showed such a valiant effort there in the second half. Was it one with your defense? Oh yeah. I mean, uh, tonight we really knuckled down. You know, uh, we know they're going to make runs and we didn't let it get to us, you know. We took our time, you know, everybody had a lot of energy, and we did everything possible to get the win. They kept coming at you, but they were fighting from behind. You had a huge shot there that really sealed the deal there at the end. Can you just talk about the shot and what you were looking for? Uh, I knew I could shoot over top of him, you know. 
and I just try to get to a spot. You know, uh, I thought I got fouled on the play too, but uh, I just got my feet underneath me, and I just told myself, even if they don't call a foul, I'm gonna try to shoot the shot. Set the scene for me for Game Seven, if you will. First of all, I hope Doug Collins come back and, and do the game in Detroit, man. I miss you out there, man. You gotta come do the game in Detroit. But uh, it's gonna be an exciting game. I mean, uh, this is what we want to do. We want to come here and get a win. You know, we work so hard to get home court advantage. And uh, this is what it's all about. We want to go ahead and knuckle down and hopefully we can get a win. All right, Rip, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Hey, Doug, come on to Detroit, man. Stop <laughs> playing.